Okay, the Apple Tree Motorhome Hunters Chase is up next. It's race 28. It's a two mile, two and a half furlong. Hunter Chase, 0 to 100 handicap. So let's see what we've got. So number one is Clara Bell, two, King Festival, three, Baroness Raffalina, four, Burn Oak, five, Strategic Driftwood, six, Driving Light Rain, seven, Pipe and Lied, eight, Your Udell, nine, Lithuania, ten, Carrie Brown, eleven, La Siego, and twelve is Vitachi five, or Vitachi V. So twelve of them, and this Hunter Chase, quite a small, uh, not a long distance one, only two and a half miles. Just under, so wait for him to settle down. Here at Stratford. I assume this is Stratford upon Avon. I'm probably wrong. Let's see if Shakespeare makes uh, makes an appearance. Anyway, that's, it's Burnt Oak that leads us. We've got 11 to take. And it's Burnt Oak that bowls along in front from Lasiego the Grey in second. Followed through, through by the rest. A fair few going wide. Clarabel. Strategic Driftwoods wide. Inside of that is Vitachi V. They take the first, and everybody's over it. And just the two at the rear of Baroness Raffalina in the white silks and the grey driving like rain. So it's still Burnt Oak by five to six from La Siego and Clarabelle as they take this ditch. Everybody gets over that. No, we've lost one. We've lost two. Baroness Raffalina fell, and Vitachi Five also fell. Oh, they're going faster than my eyes can keep up with. But it's still Burnt Oak, but we're down two. They're into the third. So, Burnt Oak still leads by four to Clarabo in second. Then we've got Lassiego the grey against the fence in the green sleeves and red silks. The outside of that is Strategic Driftwood, who's tucked in now a little bit. Pipe and Light under a little bit of pressure, trying to get a better position. Then we've got Udell. They come into the fourth. It's a plain one. Everybody's over it. A really poor jump by Carrie Brown. It's lost a couple of lengths now and fallen out the back of the pack. So Burnt Oak still leads us as we're going to go past the finishing line. With a circuit to go. And still seven to jump. So Burnt Oak is one. Second is Clarabel. Third is Strategic Driftwood. And the SEA goes four. Udell and Pipe and Lider five and six. Out wide is King Festival seven. They've got Driving Light Rain the other grey in eight. Lichuan is nine in the white silks. And Carrie Brown still needing to try and get back onto the end of the pack. Oh, and the leader goes straight through that one there. Caught his heels, caught his heels, caught his knees. And his lead's now been cut down to nothing as Strategic Driftwood pulls up alongside. And Clarabelle is having a good run around the running round. And they're followed through by Lassiego, the other grey. And then we've got Udell and the other grey driving like rain. They're into the six. Everybody's over it. Bit of a slow jump by Carrie Brown again. Jockey's having to bustle him along into the ditch. Oh, we've lost one there. Clarabelle's gone. It seems to be if you're in front today, you're going to fall. So down a few now. And it's Burnt Oak that still leads, though, from Strategic Driftwood. Lithuania's made some progress. Got himself into a good position. And third, then you've got Udell and Pipe and Lied. The other grey doing well is driving light rain in the purple silks. Got a plumb run against the running route. And then we've got Lasiego and Carrie Brown, who's done well, but it's a little bit wide. So Burnt Oak under a little bit of pressure now. Inside five and a half furlongs. Jockey's already got his whip out. The one sitting on his haunches is Lithuania, but went, oh, Lithuania just went straight through the top of that. It was running well, but Burnt Oak put, starts to pull away. But Strategic Jufford and Lithuania also under pressure. Pipe and Light on the outside. Udell, we got four furlongs. Carry Brown driving like rain. Lassiego's going a little bit backwards. They all jump the ninth and get over it. Lassiego jumped it fast and gets back into the pack. Anything could win this from here. Well, there's a few going wide. We're inside three and a half furlongs. It's still Burnt Oak that leads them. Some Lithuania in second on the outside. Side is Pipe and Lied. Big jump there by Lithuania. Takes the lead up now. It's still two and a half furlongs left to travel and still a couple to, one to jump. It's Lithuania that takes the lead from Burnt Oak and Pipe and Lied. Strategic Driftwood's under a lot of pressure as is Carrie Brown. Driving light rain doesn't seem to have anything left. Udell's nowhere. Neither is Lasiego. So it's Lithuania. Takes them into the last. Jumps it slowly and has allowed Pipe and Lied and Strategic Driftwood to put him under pressure. But it's Pipe and Lied now inside the final furlong. They're on the flat. It's Pipe and Lied from Strategic Driftwood. Nothing else is going to be. It's between these two. Two's Pipe and Light. Here comes Strategic Driftwood. Pipe and Light trying to hang on. Where's the post? Pipe and Light. Strategic Driftwood. I don't know who's going to... This could be a head bob. Oh, and I think Pipe and Light just hang on there. Unlucky for Street Driftwood. Just left it a little bit too late. Let's see the replay. Oh, 
Piper Light takes it, but the replay looked weird there. Strategic Driftwood second, Carry Brown third. It just looked from that angle that Strategic Driftwood was neck ahead. But that's a James Follis horse, I think. Well done. I think it's one already this season. So James Follis gets gets the, the motorhome hunter's chase. Second was Strategic Driftwood for David Robertson. Third was Carrie Brown for Kevin Meanahan. Fourth was Burnt Oak for Carl Arrogante. And fifth was Driving Light Rain for Martin Leadham.